Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's a soul family read uh, for the 24th. Uh, this is a weekend read, so this uh, 24th, 25th, 26th uh, weekend. Hope it's right. <laughs> Time is not my thing. <laughs> oh, God. So I want to read from this is Gilded Tarot, classic edition. It's my oldest tarot card deck that I have and my favorite for sure it's like for years years I would not use another deck and I had to find use the God <laughs> Gilded Tail Royale <laughs> it's, it has some significant differences and uh, you know I realized I got Taurus in my ninth house and I was kind of like it's empty and I'm like what the hell does it really do you know I don't feel like I'm a Taurus ninth house but like when it comes to cards I'm like way traditional you know want to like uh usually if you have like a taurus moon no matter if you're 80 years old you get something from your childhood right there near you in the bedroom saying check it <laughs> um so what i want to do before we start um read from the guild tarot book because it's short hopefully you can see that uh on strength and just have that be kind of an overall energy behind the overall energy we're going to get on our four card pull for this weekend and again this is kind of i'm leaning more towards a spiritual uh direction with this i still have love and romance on my mind uh, but um often here uh, we're getting direct messages for ourselves about our own energy around love and romance so strength card a woman with a great sense of purpose walks side by side with a lion there's a chain wrapped loosely around the lion's neck and held just as loosely in the woman's hand. The lion is the woman's animal instincts. These instincts neither lead her nor are they dragged along behind her. They are just there, a reserve of strength, power, and courage for whenever and whenever she should have a time to need them. The message of strength reminds you that you have more strength, power, and courage than you realize. Learn to live easily with these gifts that you have been given and to use them when it is appropriate. Be aware of two extremes. Do not let your strength or baser desires control you. And conversely, do not deny your own power. Um, Lilith came to mind out of that for me. I was like, God, that's so Lilith. Uh, and uh, it's age 13 in Astro anyway. It's the number that's assigned if you want to pull it in a chart because uh, it's a little different than what you're going to get with the Lilith. And um, I, it's opposite my son. <laughs> uh, and Lilith is uh, that, uh, that animal instinct. He's a lot made about it being a sexual energy. Sure, it is. A uh, woman's assertive energy. Yes, everyone's assertive uh, sexual energy. It's just like fine for guys, unfortunately, to assert that energy, uh, basically. But for women, it's like, oh my God, you know. So that's why that's a thing, I think, you know. But it's that animal instinct, and some people have it more than others. It's not that good in me. It takes a minute to kick in. And what I mean, it's like there's some people that someone walks in a room, they've got their hackles up like an animal. Hair goes up on the back of your neck, you know. You've got your eye on them you know it's a problem like before it even happens you know um so it's being connected with this animal part of ourselves is id i think of it too uh black moon Lilith as the id in classic like, psychology um that unconscious uh, self um and um probably see it in level of submissiveness or dominance in general it's that kind of animal energy man um, strength. So it's kind of like not typically how I read strength in my reading. So even though I've read that many times, it's funny. It's like I just go with kind of strength uh, is kind of to me like usually ends up in the reading because I look how it relates to everything else. It's like some kind of blessing and some kind of it's an indication. I don't want to say a warning um, often that you're going to need strength, you know. But whenever I see it, unless it's in a crossing position, then we're in trouble. Uh, but otherwise, I tend to see it as like meaning also that we're going to have the strength we need, which by and large we do, don't we? Or we wouldn't be here. 
So no matter how bad it's been, uh, we, we did actually have the strength to get through it. And we're going to end up with the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And that's a great card to start with strength, you know. Because, you know, I think real strength spiritually, if you look at astrology, that's coming. It's not like the Neptune thing. That's the Saturn thing. It's got to start there. And I think Saturn's the roots. And it's the thing that a lot of uh, spiritual people miss, myself including strong Sagittarius, you know, fuck all that Saturn stuff. You know, well, <laughs> uh, you, you need to uh, deal with it. And, you know, this shows an overall energy is kind of where you're at. You know, you, you get that, and that's being grounded and solid, having roots. Um, it's just not just uh, taking your time in it to win it for the long haul uh, energy. At this point, this is all kind of resonating. It just hit me how much with myself. I was in there getting ready, and I was like, well, no one promised you a rose garden, David. <laughs> that had been going well. And I just can't seem to get ah, traction. It's like you're stuck and you know, you just, okay, throw another rock in there, look around, where's another board? I haven't got traction yet. And uh, so I was saying to myself, um, you know, something. And I just realized it wasn't really positive. And I was like, negate that. And I was like, you know, we're going to just have, I basically, I don't know what made me think of straight. So I, I'm going to have strength to get through this, you know? It's like, uh, uh, kind of honestly, it's like Virgo energy too here. It's because uh, you know Virgo likes to do the work. You know uh, Saturn wants us to work. And Virgo loves why Saturn and Virgo go together very well. Um, and uh, Saturn and uh, I mean Virgo Capricorn too um, is happy there. They're happy usually working together. Um, it's the same kind of energy, uh, but I think that's where strength starts. You know, uh, being real spiritual strength because once we're grounded. Um, then we can ha -ha, reach for the stars, you know? <laughs> That's where Neptune comes in, Pluto comes in. But Saturn's going to take a pound of flesh one way or another. Give it up or not, it's going to take it, in my opinion. And you usually find that out by your first Saturn return. It's like, you know, <laughs> give, either give it to Saturn or Saturn's going to take it. It's a lot easier if you give it. And that's where astrology helps the fool. I love this. I'll kind of love this. This is where we come in as uh, this energy of ourselves, zero arcana. I got to think, guys, we're starting to, I think this Lion's Gate is all kind of crazy important. And for spiritual people, if you're watching this, you know, the, you've stepped through the portal, that whether or not you're manifested what you deserve, what you want, which you, if you intended for it, uh, it's there, it's in the astral realm, it's on the way, called the astral train, and, or else it's here, and you're literally starting a new cycle, and this, I feel it, God, I feel it, it's, it's, look, huh, you gotta have strength to have this feeling, like, otherwise you're a bum, you know what I'm saying, because it's kind of wide open, it's being vulnerable, you look, when you're in the full energy, and you talk to friends, family even, and about your what you're excited about, what you're going to do. I haven't really talked a lot what, what I've got on my mind, you know, but it's slow, you know, poco poco, <laughs> right? And uh, so the full, this energy is, you could go anywhere with this, but, you know, people will be like, are you, are you all right? <laughs> are you okay? Have you, are you stopped taking your meds? I mean, <laughs> So that's kind of maybe too when you're in the full energy, it's kind of like be cool, like uh, contain it, and uh, but definitely go for it and do it, you know, um, because like let's say say the fool could be just being born. Okay, now obviously you weren't just born. You're watching this. You're at least like I don't know, teenager, <laughs> probably not. But you know you're an adult. So if you're start if you're the fool, that means you've ended an entire cycle. You've got the world, and now you're become you're starting new. So you're starting at a higher level. I mean, that's like logic. It's logic even out right there. It's gotta be. So it's just exciting as hell, man. Now, this is what's crossing you. I get this totally with me. I've been the hermit, the hermit, the hermit for years. I watch a lot of tarot, you know, and uh, the hermit just would come up. Not so much now, but it's still that I call this the ivory tower. You know, I think of myself as the hermit. <laughs> still really. Um, and, but just that energy of good energy of going inside, looking at ourselves and doing the right thing. But you know, it's over, it's over. 
God, you know, I spent my, I got all this fourth house energy and I, uh, I w was drawn to it <laughs> and I spent my whole life uh, in wallowing in that energy and trying to understand everything about myself. The hermit wants to understand everything about himself. And at some point though, enough, you want to be the fool. You don't want to just be free. The hermit's like, he's in a freaking cave, man. <laughs> you know? The fool is jumping off a cliff. This is what you want to do. And this is what you're kind of doing, but don't want to be doing anymore. Okay? Could be clear. Major arcana, huge life changes, 20, 30 year periods. I'm 62 almost. No bones about it. What's happening right now is the beginning of the rest of my life and it's a whole new chapter it doesn't have anything to do with my fourth house every all my energies are literally out of there progressed transits pluto uh it's got finishing with its uh, posing my moon and then you know uh, i'm good for a while now look at this advice from spirit major arcana the sun i mean my god man um it, best card to deck <laughs> Um, the advice from spirit is like you're you've got everything like it's a promise that you've got everything if your friends say what are you out of your mind just say yes I'm way I'm just get out you know really I mean at, here's what it is like with the Sun I'm gonna try not to drop the f-bomb um, but it's like really this is advice from spirit and clearly I think the advice look at this card the advice is to burn, just burn. And if other people don't dig your fire, well, let them get the, uh, get back. Let them get the back from your fire, okay? That's not your problem, just burn. That's strong advice. Wow, I hear that. It's time to burn, man. I mean, it's, here's my understanding of psychology. It's never wrong to do you. It's never wrong to say, make I statements, you know. Um, that when we get in trouble is when we go, you, we start with you this and you that. And the hermit, it's all about I. But this is about, you've done that. It's time to shine. It's time to take all that stuff. The hermit didn't go in the cave and point his finger at himself for years on end, you know, so he could just die. He did it so he could shine. Rise and shine, yeah. That's some Phoenix energy there too, man. I'm not gonna tell you. Here we have the same thing we started with yesterday. <laughs> uh, and don't, fuck it, this is not scaring me. 10 of swords here, you know. This is the future here. And it's showing us like we're done. We're done with this energy. The energy is raining down on us. This incredibly positive energy. It's hard, it's kind of crushing in a way. I guess it depends on where you're at. I don't know, maybe I'm probably not at the highest level, vibrational level, and it's been really hard, physically hard, more than anything for me, and um, I feel it, I feel it, but it's ending something it completely. We're right there, I mean, starting this new cycle. I don't care if you're 20 years old, 25, 55, it's a 20, 30 year cycle we're dealing with. Right now, this lion's gate, 8-8. Eight, eight. Go back and run your chart for 8-8. Eight, eight. It's big energy, it's ongoing. It just came before 8-8, eight, eight. but just look at where, that'll tell you something. Uh, where the transits were in relation to your natal and progressed chart, or get a reading. Uh, because this, I'm seeing it over and over, guys. I do tarot readings for people. At every astrology reading, you see these big cycles starting in their lives at one level or another. And so uh, it could be any more important energy, and this clearly shows it. And you know, you've been working on this steady. You didn't get through the world and get to start over, you know, by fucking off. Sorry. <laughs> you know, this is this is good work, hard work, bars. You, using your energy where it needs to be uh, to get there. Wow, great reading. Thank you, guys.